everyone i am mihir patel from department of pharmaceutical technology lg institute of pharmacy welcome you all in this online learning session pharma ignite is the youtube channel of lg institute of pharmacy it is a initiative of our college to give more and more pharmaceutical knowledge to our beloved students so please follow and subscribe our channel let us start our today's session in this second session of the pilot plant and scale up technique we'll discuss about two important concept one that is about the design of pilot plant and second thing that is pilot plant operations so as you can see onto the screen this pilot plant design should support three key strategic objectives in that first one that is about the formulation and process development second one clinical supply manufacture chain and the third one that is technical confirmation and its evaluation with scale up and transfer facility that means in this pilot plant design our ultimate objective is to provide this three points with its ultimate output region so for this particular design what should be the ideal concept or i can say the attributes which are required for the pilot plant design so in that case we can say that as you can see onto the screen different characteristics which are maintained or which should be maintained into this pilot plant first one that is about cgmp compliance first one that is about cgmp compliance means into the plant we have to follow good manufacturing practices with regulatory requirement second thing the staff which is over here which is recruited it must be highly qualified staff highly qualified staff then the equipment to support equipment should be like of that which support the multiple dosage form which support the multiple dosage form that means within a one equipment you can process out different particular dosage forms so it will save the space as well as the time with the maintenance cost then you can see that equipments at the multiple scale based on the similar operating procedures and the principles so it would have the better output quality that means this point is very identified and critical characteristics is maintained over here next attribute in pilot plant design portable equipment should be available multi purpose rooms should be designed so that within one room we can operate with multiple procedure obviously restricted access must be there to maintain the protocols of regulatory guideline then regulated personal flow means every staff should be given a proper training how to get entered into the manufacturing area and the relativity of material flow relativity of material flow means from which region material is going to enter into the plant and from which region the particular personnel is going to enter into the plant so basically in case of that industrial language it point is noted with two different languages one that is pal personnel airlock and second one that is mal that is material airlock it is in a short it is also known as mal and pal so with this kind of strategic objectives we have to design our pilot plant finally at the whole whenever you have to design any kind of constructive points for the pilot plant obviously two factors are there which you can see on to the last point that is low maintenance cost and operational cost 
because ultimately with the output relativity we have to think about these two specific attributes or i can say that is about the characteristics of the particular design related to moving forward to the next concept about the pilot plant operations about the pilot plant operations you can see onto the screen that different regions are there which on which we have to focus so if you go through the operational aspects into the particular pilot plant we have to think about lot of factors as you can see validation components training component engineering support maintenance and calibration material control and inventory orders and its labeling process then process and manufacturing activities then process and manufacturing activities and at the last obviously your product quality that means quality assurance and quality control should be maintained throughout this all operational points in this particular session again i am saying that we are going to discuss each and every point related to this operational aspect so what is the point of validation when we have a thought of validation process i can say the base structural relation what kind of validation should be performed what kind of validation should be performed and how it is going to be there into the pilot plant so you can see in basic concept in when we have a thought of validation it is divided into different category first one that is design specification second one that is installation qualification third one that is about the operational qualification fourth that is performance qualification and this all validation parameters must comply with the must comply with the cgmp and fda standards cgmp and the fda standards so these are the points which we have to keep in our mind during the validation now towards the next point that is about training what kind of training should be given to the specific personnel in that case the person which is working into the plant they must have a clear idea regarding the safety and environmental responsibility that means whoever is working into the plant he or she must have a basic knowledge regarding this second thing always we have to give compliance with the standard operating procedures that means for each and every protocol we need to go through sops and then i can say the person who is working into the pilot plant he or she must carry a technical skill and the knowledge so that will ultimately help out to maintain the quality of final product so because if you are aware about the proper skill and knowledge you can give your best into the quality of product and finally i can say that overall region in this point we need to comply with the good manufacturing practices that is called gmp over here now the next one is very interesting that is about computerized system so as you can see the practices of pharmaceutical industry if you talk about the older eras and if you talk about the recent era we can say now all the processes are configured with the computerized system means all the database are properly maintained into the computer system so you can see i have divided certain segments over here first one that is about material control means you have to control the material from where to where it is going into the pilot plant second maintenance of inventory third one labeling concept that is ultimately requires gmp as well as glp glp that is good laboratory practices gmp that is good manufacturing practices and finally you can see this orders orders should follow fifo system that is first in first out that is first in first out for this 
I would like to share something new with you that is about the processing softwares which are already in practices for the pharmaceutical industry. One that is known as SAP, SAP, S -A -P, that is System Application Process and second one that is ERP which is known as Electronic Resource Planning. So with respect to this whole concept, the data integration of the industry in the pilot plant and scale up technique, it must be applied in the point of computerized database system. Now in the next part, we can talk about the engineering support. What is the role of engineering support in pilot plant? So I would say that engineering support is the integral component for any kind of pilot plant and scale up techniques. It requires a lot of study because when we have a thought of design, obviously it requires engineering support design of the facility. So in the next point, constructions of the facility, scheduling, coordination between the ongoing operations and the validation of facility. So I can say that engineering support is must in this all different kind of activity. So obviously it must be within the proper processing conditions. So moving forward to the next point that is about the maintenance and calibration. So if I talk about the maintenance, I can say that it is ultimately required to meet the CGMP norms, to meet the CGMP norms. Second thing, to ensure the data integrity, to ensure the data integrity and equipment reliability during the processing conditions. So obviously this maintenance program must be well maintained with the proper documentation and its written process because we have to meet up with the CGMP requirements. Now the next point that is about the calibration. Calibration of critical instruments or equipments during the development for again compliance with the CGMP and maintain the integrity of data which is generated which is generated during the experimental process means development process so obviously this maintenance and calibration is a highly required part so when you have a this smooth process it will be delivering a final quality product over here let's talk about some quality assurance related activities which should be carried out into the pilot plan so the regular auditing system must be there for the quality process checking of any kind of pilot plan. Then second point that is approval process from the supplier. Approval process from the supplier, continuous auditing system from the particular supplier. We have to go through this different kind of processing conditions. Then you can see sample and release of raw materials and components which are required for the clinical supplies. That means we have to release a sample, checking of different raw materials, release of clinical supplies. These all kind of activities are available in the quality assurance department. And finally, I can say that maintaining and distributing facilities and operating procedures, that is SOP. So ultimately, each and every process must be followed through the standard operating procedure and finally review and approval of validation and engineering documentation should be carried out throughout this quality assurance processing steps in the subsection of the quality parameters quality control activities should carry out release testing of different finished product means we have to test our finished product and then it is going to release for the next component study. Then in the second case, physical, chemical and microbiological testing of the finished product as well as for the components and raw material that is to be carried out under the working part of quality control process. 
then the validation and revalidation programs should be carried out under this quality control department work and finally i can say that quality control in process testing during development during development scale up and technology transfer activities so i can say that ipqc in process quality control data should be maintained well documented and reported for the quality execution of our final product hope that the concept of pilot plant design and pilot plant operations are clear with you if you like our session please do subscribe our channel pharma ignite and stay connected with us for our next session till then stay engaged stay curious thank you